Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for December. I hope everybody's doing well. I do wanna take just a quick second to remind everyone that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Scorpio out there. Guys, take what resonates for you. Simply leave the rest for someone else. Keep in mind that the monthly readings are predictive in nature. So if these events aren't occurring right now, they may very well occur in the next few weeks. As always, don't try to force yourself into a reading that's not for you. Spirit can have the energy of the sign of Scorpio. What would you like Scorpio to know for December? All right, Scorpio, you are starting out, wow, with the tower. Okay, let's see what's crossing that, Scorpio. So some kind of, um, some kind of a big upset. Maybe good, maybe, well, it looks like it's your wish come true. So this looks like it's a good tower moment. You've been very much focusing on what it is that you do want. And it looks like you're getting a surprise um, wish fulfillment here. Let's see what was happening here in the past. Show me the past for Scorpio. Yeah, you've been worried about this. You've been upset, um, worried, a lot of anxiety about it, thinking about it constantly. So calm down because it looks like you are getting a wish fulfillment. Let's see why all this is happening. The moon in reverse, something's being revealed to you. Something is being revealed. There's an epiphany perhaps, but it's whatever it is that's being revealed to you, it, it's a wish fulfillment. So it looks like it's good. Let me see what's on your mind. Wow, okay. So your cards just flew over there. The Ace of Swords. You may want communication with somebody. You definitely are, are wanting clarity. What's coming up in the month of December, we have the Strength card in reverse. There's some sort of fears associated with this Tower moment, with this, whatever this wish is. So let's see how you're showing up. Show me how Scorpio is showing up. Five of Cups, you're, you're, there's a little bit of sadness here. There's changes going on and it's making you feel sad. You may not see the love in the situation. You may be focused on um, something that you've lost instead. Um, let me see. Now it could be that you're going through something and there's a wish fulfillment that's coming right in at the uh, tail end of something that's been very traumatic. Show me who is approaching, the energy approaching Scorpio in December. Show me the energy approaching Scorpio. The Two of Wands. Somebody might be traveling to see you, um, but I do see with the Two of Wands, somebody's choosing you. You're, you're their choice. They're making plans with regard to you. Let me see Spirit's advice. Two of Cups, Spirit is saying this is a good match. Spirit is saying this is a soul match. Hmm, interesting. Show me the outcome at the end of the month, please. Show me the outcome at the end of the month. For Scorpio, show me the outcome for Scorpio at the end of December. swords reversed and the sun in reverse something is going to be revealed to you by the end of the month about someone who has been dishonest perhaps or angry um, something's going to be revealed to you it could be somebody that you haven't been speaking with but something that is has been hidden is now going to be shown to you yeah there's there's something here being revealed, but at the end of the month, I, I see something else that is, is, is hidden though. So we're gonna clarify that for sure because there could be somebody that has hidden motives here or hidden anger. Yeah, we'll definitely clarify that. Bottom of the deck is the five of wands in the reverse. 
Okay, so that's underlying energy. It does show that there is an end to some kind of a conflict that's going on. Scorpio, you guys have the best readings. I mean, like, they're so... <laughs> your readings have so much drama in them. Let me see. Um, Spirit, why is this tower here for Scorpio? Now, it's possible you're having a tower moment um, and getting your wish fulfilled at the same time, but you just don't know it. All right, so we have the two of coins reversed, and you have the lovers. Yeah, there's going to be a choice here. You're going to have a choice in love. Either a big choice in love, or you're going to have, um, and it looks like a choice between two people. This is going to cause a tower moment for you, and you're going to move towards what it is that is your heart's desire. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Now, this could have already happened for some of you. Why is the Nine of Cups here for Scorpio? Ace of Cups. Yeah, you've got a choice between somebody who walked away and is coming back into your energy. This person you may have felt was a soulmate, but in the meantime, it looks like there's somebody brand new that has come into your energy. So you could have actually been kind of juggling both um, options there for a moment. And it's led to a tower moment. Let me see why the Eight of Swords is here. The Hierophant reversed, yeah. So it looks like there was an ending with somebody that is now coming back into your energy. But in the meantime, you may have already started something new. Why is the Moon in reverse for Scorpio. Seven of Swords reversed. Some kind of deception is being revealed to you. See, and I'm seeing that, but there's this, there's this hidden deception, but the reason for the reading is that it's being revealed. It's being revealed to you. Somebody has been deceptive, and that is, they have ulterior motives, ulterior goals that they're not being clear about. Whatever it is, is going to be revealed to you, and that's why this reading. Now, this is leading to, a, or has led to, a tower moment. So, let me see. You want clarity. So, why is the Ace of Swords here? Yeah, you don't want to fight with anybody. Um, you're feeling a little powerless in the situation, and I do see that you want clarity as to what direction to go. Um... And you're trying to be honest with with others. So let me let's look at December. That's going to tell us a lot. Spirit, show me December for Scorpio, because I feel like this fear is associated with you fearing that you're going to make the wrong decision. Justice in the reverse. There it is. Fear of making the wrong decision. Page of Cups reversed. Knight of Swords reversed. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Wands. The Empress in reverse. Temperance. Page of Pentacles reversed. Eight of Wands reversed. King of Wands and the Tower. Jeez, <laughs> oh, Scorpio, what are you guys up to? All right, so I, going into December, I do feel that there has been something of a Tower moment. This tower moment is coming about because you have a big decision to make with regard to love. You may have been juggling somebody from your past um, who maybe has contacted you again and tried to come back in and somebody that you have started something new with. Now, this could be all revealed too. So, this could be something that's being revealed about you. Um, and if it's not, there's something here that's being revealed about somebody's hidden agenda or hidden motives. You just want the truth. You just want the truth out there. You don't want to fight with anybody. You just want the truth. So I see you coming into December having this fear of making the bad a wrong decision. 
you don't want to you don't want to make the a, a bad decision you don't want to do anything wrong towards anybody it's almost like you, you maybe you weren't expecting this person to come back into your energy and here they are but you've already started something i don't know but what I do see is that you are you don't want to make the wrong decision. Um, with the Page of Cups here in the reverse, I feel like you might, in the first week, you might be um, feeling like you're not treating the new person fairly. There's a sense here of not telling them everything. Um, I, do see, I do see a little bit of guilt in that first week. There's a, a feeling of guilt. Um, I see you kind of pushing the new person away a little bit, um, not, not really returning phone calls, not really being responsive to them um, because you're dealing with somebody from your past, it looks like, who may have been a little bit of a player. You're talking to somebody, somebody from the past, somebody that you felt a loss with. In the second week, I see you definitely talking to that person, trying to figure out you know, if there's any consistency with this person or not, this is somebody that did constitute a loss in your life. Um, I feel like this person didn't treat you with the greatest respect. There's a sense here of somebody who was in and out, in and out, not very nurturing, not very, you know, kind. This person may have, you may have had a codependent relationship with this person. Um, and this, this whole you know, thing with this person from the past could have caused you to kind of question your own self-worth. Um, it definitely lowered your your um, self-esteem in some way. So there is a need around mid-month for you to heal that, to begin to value yourself, to, you know, heal yourself, to, to you know, pour the love into yourself. Address any codependency needs. Address, you know, any feelings of loss. Um, I am seeing that you are going to be guided. So a lot of you could be getting dreams um, or there, you could be asking for help from the angels. You are going to have guidance in the middle of the month. I do see that. Be careful with your money because the first two weeks of December, I do see that there could be losses um, and that's going to leave you feeling a little depleted financially. So be careful with that. So that doesn't cause a tower moment for you. But I do see you with regard to love being guided. In the third week, I see you either turning down an offer, um, possibly even blocking somebody. And I, I, feel like, I feel like this might be the newer person, to be honest with you. Um, there's a sense here of blocking them. Not, you may be blocking emotionally you may be blocking you know on social media um, or it could be that this person lives at a distance and that's the blockage but i feel like you are turning down somebody um, be careful that you're not turning down somebody that you know um, without the proper lack of knowledge um, i am seeing that passion is coming back into your life by the end of the the month um, I definitely, you could be dealing with a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sagittarius is actually very strong. Um, could also be a Libra, Taurus here. Libra is very strong. Um, but it, I feel like you're leaning into a connection where there's been a lot of passion. Um, that being said, uh, I see another tower moment coming by the end of the month. So... Let's uh, let's see how you're showing up. It it looks like you're having you have the options here, but you have to be careful which direction you're moving. Show me how. Okay, thank you. The Devil, Sign of Capricorn, the Death card, and the Five of Cups in the reverse. So you enter into the month, Scorpio, kind of looking at the past. There's love around you, but you don't really see that love. And it's because you've been involved in something that has been rather toxic. Whatever that is, has ended. Um, and now I feel like there's a chance, this person is coming back and you feel that there is a chance. So 
it's like, okay, you know, there's love around, there's not really love around me that I want is what I'm seeing, right? And this person coming back is coming back in from the past. Um, be sure that you're not ending something with a newer person and that you have regrets for that. But let me see, because you moved from feeling kind of down and out, down and depressed to feeling like, okay, I'm ready for love again. So why is this two of wands here? Show me the energy approaching Scorpio. Five of swords reverse, six of swords, queen of wands reverse, and the eight of coins. So the person that's coming into your energy here, this is somebody that you did have conflict with. This may be somebody um, that it was pretty ugly. This person is stepping out of their ego because they wanna move this into a better place. If this person chose someone else over you and it does look like they may have, this, uh, this is somebody who that did not work out with. And now they're trying to work things out with you. They're choosing to come back towards you and resolve conflicts and work things out. Um, there was a period where this person was moving away from you and they weren't taking action towards you, but I feel like this person is coming back in now at this point. So let's see Spirit's advice. Why is the Two of Cups here? All right, you have the Three of Cups reversed. You have the Fool. You have the Strength card reversed. And you have the Hermit in reverse. So Spirit is saying that there is love around you. There are periods in December where I feel, especially the beginning of December, that I feel like you don't feel that there's love around you. Um, Spirit is saying there is love around you. Um, in order to take this leap of faith to have this new beginning, you have to overcome your own fears. And you do start out the month with fears, fear of making the wrong choice. Um, you have to overcome those fears and there's an indication that the answers are within you. You know who is your true soulmate. And so there's an indication to take a leap of faith, overcome your fears and find the answers within. Now, let's look and see your outcome. Show me the outcome at the end of December for Scorpio. All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Four of Swords reversed. And we have the Star card in reverse. All right, so I do see that there is definitely a need for healing. And a lot of you guys don't even realize how much healing needs to take place. Um, the person coming back into your energy is going to reveal that to you. This person may be coming back in with a hidden agenda, um, with things that are hidden. There's some dishonesty here. This would be somebody that you have been on a break from. Somebody that you were once in a committed connection with. Um, this is going to highlight the need for healing in your life. I am telling you that this person that's coming back into your energy has a hidden agenda and it is going to bring about an imbalance in your, your emotional energies. You don't see this coming, but it is gonna, it's coming and it's going to be revealed to you. So I would caution you to be very careful about, you know, somebody from the past coming back in. Um, I don't feel that this person is coming back in with the best of energies. And I do feel like this is gonna cause another tower moment for you. So just be very careful, guys. As always though, you, you know, Spirit says the answers are within you. So you know inside what, what needs to be done, what, need, what you need for your development. And I would never give away my power to a tarot reader, a, a psychic, a family member, 
you know, a friend, you know, but just be careful that you don't have somebody coming back in with deception that will put you back in a state of feeling powerless. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups. And that, my dear, is wish fulfillment. So your wish fulfillment is to resolve the conflict that is between you and this person. So I feel like it's just the timing is uh, interesting because you may have started something new. If you haven't, there may be options that you would have that you are turning down because you don't, you don't uh, feel like things are complete between you and this person. I would just say be very careful and just know that if there is deception here, it is going to be revealed. All right, so I'm going to pull an oracle card for you. Spirit, I am pulling for the sign of Scorpio. Now, I'm using the Enchanted Map Oracles. So, we'll see if there's any further guidance or advice. All right, so these, uh, these oracles do come, I read them in the reverse. They do read in reversals, and yours came out reversed. You have number 54. Um, that condenses to a nine, telling me that you are very close to the end of a cycle. So, um, it's called encouragement. Give me just a second, and I'm going to read that for you. It says, you are receiving a nudge in the right direction. All right, so in the reversal, it says, a misstep isn't the end of the world. You've fallen into a trap of false courage, and only humility will lead you out of it. Perhaps you weren't listening to your intuition, and now you're in a jam. Being too self-reliant without knowing the ropes has brought you to this place. Don't become too discouraged. All is well, and you can always start again. Take another road, and surely discover new territories where love really blooms. Just remember to rely on your higher power. You can't always get what you want, but spirit knows your needs. Something better waits around the corner. All right. So I'm just going to let that sit with you guys. I hope that this has been helpful for you. If you've resonated with this reading, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And until I see you in your next reading, Scorpio, namaste.